everybody. This, this is Light the Dark. Dark. And we're, we're back, back again, again with another, another banger. All right, you guys. So today we're going to do a Muck Bank Q&A. Um, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and uh, head down the road and pay our rent for our landlady. Yeah, it's a lot fee, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and pay um, our lot fee. If y'all are like new to the financial world, just now starting to live on your own or something like that, the one of the number one rules is it is make sure that you keep your rent or your lot fee or whatever paid your electric bill paid and try to pay it ahead if you can yeah that's what we're doing especially during these times you want to go ahead and keep everything ahead yeah so our, that way you ain't struggling our lot fee's really low so we're and we're in a position right now where we're able to get it ahead so we're trying to get it paid we're going to try to get it paid to the end of the year before the middle of the year that way we can just kind of relax throughout the uh, last part of the year and, and we not own our work. house y'all so this this is for the land that our house is on yeah so, yeah so we're in a much better position so all y'all young kids out there you know what i'm saying i know money is good money is you know nice to have but you know from our experience with money just make sure you keep all your bills paid you know if you're living alone or even with your parents try to save you know what I'm remember, saying? it's very very important things do get better if it if times seem tough because we've been through some really rough we lived in our car at one yeah. time and now we have our own place which yeah. we didn't think we would ever have it but we have it now so just try to keep your faith up try to you know what i'm saying when you're struggling just try to remember that things do get better all right so we're gonna go jump in the car run down here and pay the landlord and we'll take y'all with us all right peace. peace all right you guys we're back and unfortunately we went in here to pay our lot fee and the uh, the people who work here i don't think they're the actual they're landlords. not in the office yet <clears throat> but they're not in the office right now they're at one of the other properties so we're gonna so, just come come back later and pay it yeah we'll come back a little later and pay it but right now we're about to head up to pizza hut yep and i'm gonna let Sade talk to y'all for a little bit because watch, watch out back up. Well, I got to wait on uh, yeah. our maintenance guy, maintenance to back guy out. Mr. Joe, to back out. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the reason why we want to do this Q&A is because we want y'all to know more and more about us. So we're going to uh, sit down, do a Q&A while we eat. Yeah. Do the up, bank. <clears throat> we went online and we found a website that has a bunch of awesome questions. We're going to pick about 10 of them and we're, what, how we're going to do it. I don't know how everybody else does it on YouTube, but we're going to... I'm gonna answer the question, and she's gonna answer the question, and vice versa. Sometimes she'll answer first. Some we'll take turns. Yeah, we'll just throw she'll it back and first. forth. We'll go back and forth yeah. like that. As y'all can see, I washed my hair today. I don't know if I can see, but I washed my hair today. Yeah, so. she's got that leave-in conditioner <laughs> in the back of her head. I know y'all yeah. saw that. <laughs> I, I said something to her about it. I didn't really know. Yeah, it's leave-in conditioner, so you just let it sit in your hair and dry on its own. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Yeah. I didn't know about it because I'm white as heck. <laughs> well, you see me do it every day, babe. Yeah, I do. But it's all good. anyway, now we're able to back out, so we're heading up to Pizza Hut. I'm going to let Sade yep. talk to y'all just a little bit. Uh, we're going to Pizza Hut, so I know it's been rough for everybody since we've been dealing with this pandemic. But, you know, we're just going to keep the faith and, you know, hopefully everything works out. Hopefully they get good vaccinations for this COVID thing that's been going around. But as far as us, we've just been staying at the house, taking care of our bills. You know, that way it won't be behind. I like said earlier, trying to get them ahead. Yeah, ahead. Like, we're way caught up. So, that's the best thing to do, especially during this time. Make sure you get your bills caught up and everything. Don't just rely on a relief bill and think that you're okay. You know what I'm saying? Think that you're okay to uh, just let your bills go by. You want to make sure you're ahead of all your bills. Yeah, Young don't kids pay, out there. I wouldn't even pay no attention to that rent moratorium because at the end of it, whenever they suddenly are telling people that the rent moratorium's over and they're six months behind on their rent you're just going to get evicted immediately they're just going to kick you right out of it's your house they're going to evict you anyway and yeah. what you know and they're not going to give you a chance to get caught up or anything like that uh at the end of it the, the land the landlords are going to be pissed yeah. they're just going to kick you out man yeah they don't care <laughs> they still going to do what they want to do because at the end of the day if you don't pay your rent even with this moratorium, the landlords are suffering, so. So instead of not paying our rent, instead of that, we're, this camera fixed. we're actually paying uh, right ahead. Sorry guys, our camera, yeah, our little uh, Joby, uh, little tripod thing keeps kind of falling, moving around because of the bumps here. We got a bunch of speed bumps. But we're gonna come back y'all, and we're gonna, uh, when we pull up at Pizza Hut, we'll come back and talk to y'all for a little bit because hubby got to focus on the road. So, talk to y'all later. Peace. All right, talk to y'all later. So, we're Peace. back again. 
I uh, hope we got us some new masks, as you can see. Yay! Mm -hmm. But um, we're about to go in the. Uh, we're at, here at Pizza Hut. That's our mutt bank. We're going to eat Pizza Hut with, with y'all, answer some questions. We're about to go in here and get our pizza. Yep. And we're going to take y'all with us. And then after that, uh, we're going to sit up at the house and answer some questions for y'all. While we eat some good <laughs> Pizza Hut, we got a uh, beef. What was the other meat? Bacon. Beef, bacon. Yeah, beef and bacon pizza. Extra sauce and uh mushrooms of course because we love I'm mushrooms. We love pizza. mushrooms. <laughs> All right, so let's get up in here. Um we're gonna take y'all with we're us. We're gonna take y'all with us. Hut. It's our local pizza hut. All right, so hold on one second. Just lock the door, baby. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Let me see my mask on. We're out here in the pizza town. Hut. We're in we're in a place out in Podunk. Lexington, South Carolina, but it's out in uh, Casey, it's South Carolina. It's in Gaston, really. Gaston. Yeah. Gaston, Casey, <laughs> Lexington, West Columbia, whatever you want to call it. Just going here in this going. Pizza Hut out here. <laughs> Grab our Pizza Hut. Hopefully they don't freak out about our cameras. <laughs> Sometimes people do. They probably won't, though. They got all this up. All right, go inside, baby. You got my pick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's making my glasses fog up. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? We, we got a camera because we do vlogs. You too. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, it's under Alan and Shade. Alan and Shade. All right, gotcha. Yeah, you want to make sure you uh, ask permission to vlog when you do vlogs. So. Okay. She said it was fine. All right, there it is. Thanks for letting us record you. Have a good day. <laughs> Alright, you guys, so we got our pizza. Let's show them the pizza. Let's show them the pizza. Got to unseal it because they all seal their pizza yeah. down and I'll grab their pizza. I guess because of COVID. That's our awesome freaking our pizza. creation. Yum yeah. nums. Look at that, y'all. That's our awesome all right, creation. Alright, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and get back to the house and we're going to start the mukbang. We'll get back to y'all soon. Peace. Hey everybody, we're back. We're just now got back here, got set up for you guys. We got our nice uh, mushroom and bacon and beef pizza. Oh, no. Yeah, it's gonna be freaking <laughs> awesome. Um, we got got our good old hot sauce gotta here. Have the Texas Pete hot sauce. We got that sriracha. <laughs> we put that on everything. <laughs> yep. <Shout out> tech <laughs> nine. We love some Tech Nine. <laughs> But we got us a good little, we went online, there's a website we posted down in the description where we got these questions from. We just picked 10 of some of our favorite ones. Uh, we're going to try to do this every, uh, once a week on Wednesdays. Don't hold us to it, guys, but we're, you know, you, you can see we're posting a lot more regularly now. Um, but we're going to try to do this every Wednesday. We're going to do a mukbang and a, a Q&A every single week. We're going to pick 10 questions from one of these websites. That have the questions for couples. Go ahead and start. Um, <laughs> Shade, Shade's hungry, y'all. Yeah, I'm really hungry. Tell me, come on, let's get this set up so we can make this video. <laughs> but anyway, our first question, we got ten questions. Is uh, what makes you dislike a person? For me, the answer to that is going to be if they're if, whether or not they're genuine. Like they can be the nicest person in the world. But if they're like a fake nice, like they're, you, I can tell they're being fake with me, like they're just being nice, uh, just they're telling me what I want to hear, kind of that type of person. I can't stand them, and that makes that's what really that's one of the things of probably many things that actually make me dislike a person. So anyway, what about you, babe? What makes you dislike a person? The main thing that makes me dislike a person is their consistency. They'll be real nice to me one day, and then the next day they're real cold. And I feel like that's not genuine. Kind of feeding off of what he said. Um, you got to be all the way 100 with me. Uh, I already have my, my foundation here with my husband, my marriage. But when it comes to friends and stuff like that, if you're not all the way 100, one minute you're nice to me, the next minute you ghost to me, and you fake. I, I hate stuff. I hate people like that. Like, I don't hate anyone, but I just don't like that. And when you do stuff like that, then I'm just going to cut you off because... Ain't no point of doing all that. I'm showing you love and you being funny towards me or even condescending me and stuff like that. I ain't got time for that. That's what I don't why, like. They'll see why I love her because we're so much alike. Like yep. our, both, our, 
They're not quite the same, but they're almost the same answer. <laughs> All right, so question number two is, I'm gonna let Sade answer this question first. Okay. Is, do you think you are a confident person and why? Um, growing up as a child, I really wasn't as confident. Um, I struggled with low self-esteem a lot because I was bullied in school. And every time I tried to make friends, they never really wanted to be my friend. So that had a lot to do with why I wasn't as confident. Um, now I'm more confident because, you know, I found love. My husband loves me. He always tells me I'm beautiful. He always, she is. <laughs> he always uplifts me, encourages me, and stuff like that. And that really makes a difference. You know what I'm saying? When you got somebody every day telling you that you can do anything, you're amazing. And, you know, as I got older, I realized that, yeah, I am beautiful. It's a lot of beautiful girls out here, but I'm beautiful too. And so, uh, my confidence level is kind of back and forth because everybody has insecurities. Everybody has things they want to work on. So, you know, some days I might be confident and some days I'm, I'm not. That's just being real. Yeah. I'm not confident all every day, all the time. So, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I'm confident. I'm most of the time confident when I'm not. Sometimes. Now, Spam, you are beautiful in the comments. Yeah. Spam, you are beautiful in the comments. Please. And you are handsome, babe. Before you do that, like we always say, we got to say this. Make sure you go down, subscribe like this video drop us a comment and make sure you tap that bell for more notifications, for more notifications. what about you babe okay do i think i'm a confident person well i'm mentally ill as i commonly state on this channel all the time and i'm sure you guys are probably tired of hearing it and so my mood and my personality can change from time to time and i go up and down Whenever I'm in a, whenever I'm in the, I go, I'm manic depressive, so whenever I'm in the depressed state, of course I'm not very confident at all. I kind of feel like crap about myself. Uh, but other times, when I'm manic, I'm like 10 foot tall and bulletproof. Kind of like, you know, you can't, can't it kind of can be debilitating, but it's not, I've learned how to handle it pretty well. You know, I'm 33, about to turn 34. My baby's about to turn 31. But and feeding off what he said, uh, my condition does play a lot in my confidence level. I probably should have mentioned that. I have mental illness too, so um, I can be very manic and real happy on top of the world. And they say, you know, I get into a depressed zone where I won't come out my shell for days and days and stuff like that. So I'm like same kind of the same thing what he said but also on top of what I've been through as well. So what I've been through with people uh, really played a role in my confidence level as well because I was naive and thinking people are like me and people ain't always like you, so. So answer for both of us. Yeah. Yes, we are confident at times, but mm -hmm. it does vary based on what kind of mood we're in, mm -hmm. you know, or how, like somebody treats me really bad or like if I've had a really bad day at work or something like that, and you know your boss might make you feel like crap or something i might you know my confidence level might go down for a day or two until i build myself back up again moving on to question number three what about yourself are you most proud of i'll answer first this time we're going back and forth kind of i'm most proud of myself for being able to take care of my wife and and being able to be there for her mm -hmm. and be a better person in order to do that that required me to be a much better person than the person that I was before this YouTube channel used to be called something totally different before and it was it had a totally different premise and I was a totally different person at that time very very dark person and I'm I'm proud of myself for coming back from being that person, from to be a better person, be the person that I am now. So that, that's the answer to my question. That's what's up. So what about you, babe? What uh, what about yourself? Are you most proud of? And by the way, we're gonna I said it wrong earlier. We're gonna be doing five of these questions because we're gonna save the we're gonna be doing five of these every single week. Yeah. And it takes, you know, a few minutes to answer each question, obviously. We don't want to drone on with you guys for 45 minutes. But you can let us know in the comments if you would like for these videos to be longer. 
or if you'd like for the videos to be shorter, make sure you let, let us know. In the you know let us know. We love your input. We do this for y'all, and we want y'all to get the maximum enjoyment out of it. And if that means uh, 45 minute videos, we don't mind. We'll talk to y'all all day. Or if that's too long and y'all want shorter videos, let us know that too. Let us know what y'all want. All right. So, what was the question again, babe? What about yourself? Are you most proud of? Um, I like I said, I have a, a mental illness, so, and I'm I'm not really uh, I don't really get treatment for it. So I will say that I'm most proud of the fact that I have a mental illness and I never stop giving. I don't give up. I keep going and I endure things. And you're able to do it without medication. Yeah, and I'm able to do it without medication. And it's hard too, man. And it's really hard, you know, but. Uh, what am I most proud of is basically like my endurance and my strength to be able to go to conquer anything I'm even when it's tough. That. I'm proud of you for that too, Pookie. I know. <laughs> I love her, y'all. And I love my baby. <laughs> Alright, yeah. so for number four, we're going to do Are you happy with the people you surround yourself with? Well, that's easy, babe. Yeah. <laughs> well, mostly we only surround ourselves with, with each other. other. <laughs> I'm going to let you answer first. Go ahead. Excuse me, y'all. That's part of the <laughs> answer, but we, we do have a few other people that we surround ourselves with, and we'll tell y'all about that. I'm gonna so, her... most of the time, it's just me and Alan. Like, we're, in, I'm, we're very introverted, and we're introverted for a reason. So, um, I mean, we love being around each other. Yeah, this is a real marriage, so yeah, we have our disagreements. You know, we argue, we talk things out, we get, we go through a lot, but at the end of the day, this is the only person that I need by my side. I don't need nobody else. Yeah, we have family and stuff like that, but we're married, so, you know, all we have is each other. Um, we do have... Most of our family, we don't really hang around too much. No, we, we do have a small circle. We love them, but we don't get along with them. Yeah, not really, but we do have a small circle of family members that we do vibe well with. Shout out to Uncle Donnie and Auntie Doris and Bella. Uh, those are like a few people that we do hang around. Shout out to Grandma, Sissy, and Grandma, Ethel Hepner. Ethel Hepner. He's the one that uh, gave us this house. Yep, gave us this house. Shout out to my yep. cousin. And Moki. Sean, Moki. Yep. Oh, Mike. Shout out to my cousin, Mikey. Yep. Shout out to my cousin, Winter. Yep. Shout out to my shout sister. Out to Winter. Shout yep. out to my sister, Kaylin Faye. Yep. We love you, Kaylin. We love you. We love all y'all. If we forgot anybody, we really apologize. Shout out to Ashley Jameson. Christina Jameson, those are my extended family members, my cousins. See there, we think they don't more. live. They don't live here, but they are very supportive of me. And I have my fam I have family in Atlanta. Shout out to my family, you know. But for the most part, me, we just hang out. We just hang with each other. That's, you know, that's my babe. <laughs> All right. And I'm not going to answer because basically she just gave both of our answers are the same because we. Literally, you haven't met a couple like us. No. We're always together. The only time we're not together is if one of us is working. I don't go to bars and go hang out. I don't go to I don't go to strip clubs. I come home to my wife. I can't wait. You know, if I yep. if I go to work, when I go to work, I come straight home to my wife, and I can't wait to get back to her. I just want to be hanging out with her. Like if I want to watch a movie or something, yep. I want to watch it with her. If I'm gonna, you know. So and it, it feels good to be able to have somebody there. Like me and Alan are total opposites, but we're just alike. Like our principles and what we believe in is just alike, and so that's why that's why we're so compatible because we get each other. We get it. You know what I'm saying? We're both on the same page. We always got each other's back. We always everything. got each other's back, no matter what. And the thing about that is, we have each other's back, no matter what. And What's right is right and what's wrong is wrong, but at the end of the day, this is my partner. This is who I come home to. This is who I lay my head to. So, I'm going to the next question. Alright, so, mm -hmm. for the last question, I'm going to pick, uh, what have you struggled with your entire life? And I'll answer first. Okay. I've struggled with a few things my entire life, but main the main problem and the main struggle has been drug addiction in my life. I also struggle with uh, overly talking too much. <laughs> I, I talk a lot whenever I get nervous. I have a nervous habit of talking a whole lot and I, it makes me very socially awkward. But my main struggle has been uh, drug addiction and I've 
not conquered that, but I've come pretty, I, I do a whole lot better. I just smoke pot now, I might drink a beer. But I'm talking about the type of drug addiction that causes hepatitis and things like that. So I was literally uh, infected with hepatitis C. I took, I had the Maverick treatment. Shout out to Maverick because they cured me of hepatitis C. I no longer have it. Um, so my whole life I struggled with that uh, up until the moment when I met my wife when I was still struggling with hardcore drug addiction, you know, cocaine, methamphetamine, uh, all kinds of all kinds of hardcore drugs, heroin, all of it. I was doing everything. Uh, she still rode by my side, still had my back, and I guess the beauty of that, like, I could imagine how hard it is to have somebody's back whenever everybody else is telling you that this person is going to fail. Like statistics is telling you, science is telling you that this person is always going to be a drug addict. And I am still a drug addict, but I moved it to where I just smoke pot and I just drink a little bit of beer at night whenever I go to bed. And that's all, I, I just do that just to, I guess, quell the appetite of it. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to be where I didn't have to do that, you know. But that's just the way it is uh, for me right now. But that's my struggle, that's my main struggle, y'all. You know, so that's my big, huge secret. And I'm sharing it with you guys because we love you guys. Yeah, we want y'all to know. Deep, that's my know. deepest, darkest secret. I'm a, I'm a drug addict, and I'm a recovering drug addict. I don't think you ever fully recover, but I don't do uh, anything hardcore anymore. I don't shoot up drugs. I don't do cocaine. I don't do methamphetamine. I don't smoke crack. I don't do heroin. I don't do any of that stuff anymore at all. All I do is smoke my little bit of weed and stuff now. And that's another thing that I'm proud of myself for. Yeah. But anyway, what about you, babe? What's been your number one struggle in life? Um, my number one struggle in life has basically consisted of like my whole life. Uh, basically, my it's my mental illness. Um, I've always struggled with that um, since I was a child. Uh, I've always struggled with my mental illness. I have a lot of episodes, so also it's hard for me to be around people as well. You know, they don't even have to be necessarily fake, but it's really hard for me to be in public, to be in stores. I get paranoid, I freak out, I start shaking and stuff like that. So that's been my, my biggest thing that's affected my life so far is my mental illness. It's so like, people don't even understand, like people think, like when I say I'm depressed or I'm going through it, they think I'm like making stuff up. No, this is real. Like it may not seem like I have a mental illness, but it'd be so many things that's going through my mind like every day. It's a constant battle. And, you know, so yeah. That's if you've it. ever heard of bipolar disorder, which is what I suffer from, what Sade has, the type of mental illness that she has is, is similar to that but it has schizophrenic traits that come along with it that makes it makes her always feel like people are talking about me talking about her and they're all out to, basically like people are out to get you and another thing that's not just she struggles with that every day that's something that most people that they tell you you have to take medication for it but yeah. she doesn't have to and have another it. thing is that's not always a lot of the times now it is my mental illness but uh, a lot of the times, it ain't just me thinking that people are out to get me and stuff like that. I've been through a lot with people. So, my guard is always up. Because I've been through a lot with people, I express how I feel to people. Sometimes I tell people my whole life story. That's one thing that I that struggle with. I babble a lot. And I tell people my whole life story and they use that stuff against me. So, a lot of the paranoia is kind of going hand in people hand. People will use her mental illness at, in order yeah. to they will purposely trigger the mental illness and, and because they I guess maybe they find it entertaining or they something think it's like funny that. I guess they think it's funny. It really ain't that funny. It's not though. funny to her. Yeah. It hurts her. You know what I'm saying? You imagine always feeling that way like somebody's talking about you. You know how it feels whenever you hear somebody whispering about you in the other room? You don't like it. Do you? you don't like it. Can you imagine yeah. feeling like that all the time? And then people are sitting there Trying purposely to pushing yeah. the button of it to make you feel that way. You know, that's a pretty big struggle right there. That's yeah. a pretty big struggle. But anyway, guys. We hope you like the video. Hope you enjoy our little mukbang. <laughs> I spelled it wrong in, in some of my promotions yeah. on Facebook. Y'all yeah. don't notice that because 
I thought it was mukbang. I don't know why I thought that, but anyway, <laughs> Sade told me, no, it's not spelled like that. It's M-U-K-B-A-N-G, mukbang. I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed that. Uh, spam it down in the comments if you did. We're planning on doing these every Wednesday. Tell us if you think that'll be a good idea. Like, like I said earlier, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell. To be notified of all the content that we post. Uh, comment down below if you want to see anything else. Give us some ideas. You know we're trying, this. We're working our way up to daily videos here. So hopefully one day we'll be able to get at least five videos out to you guys a week. But right now we're working on at least three a week for you guys. So stay tuned. Stay we got tuned. more coming for you. Peace. Peace.